Ahoy! Welcome to season three, episode two of Bottom of the Stream. Here we are, still separate. Still separate for now. Don't know how long this is going to go on for. It's not very fun. I know, <laughs> but we're we're still here. We're Leeds still must. talking. Yeah, we are. That's the main thing. There's quite a few shows that are not going on, so we're we're lucky that we are. Yes. How have you been? Uh, good. Yeah. How's isolation treating you? Not bad. Um, I'm doing 100 burpees a day. For wow. Example. Really? Yeah. How's that going? I've done 100. <laughs> oh, it's only the 1st of April. Exactly. Oh, it's the 1st of April. Happy birthday. Happy podcast birthday. birthday. It's our podcast birthday. It is. We're well, a year old this week. That's where's mental. the time gone? Where has the time gone? We released our very first episode one year ago. One year ago today. Obviously, yeah. it won't be today. Is the day we're recording. Obviously, that'll be last week now. But time travel very apt this week. <laughs> very much so. Have we got any news gossip? Anything to tell me? Uh, well, my legs hurt. Um, I think I'm they're going to hurt a lot more through the month. But we'll we'll see what happens. My back's um, been hurting, but I think that's because I'm doing too much lying down. Okay, <laughs> I need to be up more. What have you been doing whilst lying down? Dare I ask? Um, I've watched quite a lot of Lost. Okay. Um, I've done the whole of the first season and eight episodes of the second season in a week. Wow, that's like 30-something episodes. Yeah, 32 episodes, I think, in a week. That's too much. I've also finished the whole of season six of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Impressive. (laughs) I don't know if that's the word I'd use, but I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. I do need to be more active. That's my that's my uh, this week's goal. I can we can do some exercising via Skype. <laughs> I'm not doing a hundred burpees. No, fine. <laughs> I'll watch you do a hundred burpees. That could be quite funny. I'm, I'm doing it with the friend of the show, Wayne Evans. Oh, nice. So, we'll well we'll commit it now. I've said it. <laughs> got to do it. You got to do it. I'll keep checking up on you every week to make sure you've been okay. doing it. Fine. I, yeah, so how's how are you finding Lost? And Loving how did it. you find Brooklyn? But Brooklyn, no, no, let's talk about that because that's on Netflix and Lost isn't. Lost's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. I've gone to the dark side during this uh, brief isolation period. You're allowed. Uh, I thought season six of Brooklyn Nine-Nine was amazing. I really enjoyed it. That was the first time I'd seen it, so it was nice to watch it all through. That's such a great show. The, it is such so a many show. good characters. The episode where there's two Scullies is brilliant yeah absolute <laughs> genius i don't think that's a spoiler it's just fun <laughs> what about you have you been watching anything uh yeah we have watched quite a bit uh what's the whole series of i'm not okay with this anymore <laughs> something like that with the two kids from called. it in it i think it is yep. yeah what do you think uh, yeah i really enjoyed it it's very snappy and breezy it's like 20 minutes an episode um and then it's got a couple of good twists in it. A bit of gore. Can't be a bit of gore. The only thing that did make me a bit hesitant was it does cover similar ground to Stranger Things. Yeah, it does. That's true. And it's quite similar to sex education because it's set in the modern day, but it's full of 80s nuss soundtracks. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair comment. But I really enjoyed it. It's good fun. I don't know if it'll be back, but it definitely ended on an intriguing cliffhanger. It did all right. I think Netflix, it's got a chance of coming back, I think. Netflix have got this thing for renewing teen dramas at the minute. Sure. But Lock and Key's just been renewed. Yeah, saw that. For the second season, so that's good news. I enjoyed that. I mean, forward to see who, where that's going. Who knows when we'll see it. Oh, God, yeah. It could be two years filming. away. But could be a long time away, but it'd be, it's, it'll be worth the wait, I'll bet. They've just got to go batshit crazy with it in the second season, I think. They've done everything they can to build up the first season, build their characters and their story arc, and then if they just lose it in the second season, it'll be so much fun. I think that's it. They've spent all that time laying the groundwork. You sort of know the rules of the universe, so just go all out. Yeah, just go balls to the wall with it. Yeah, cool keys, a blitz. Yeah. Just go for it. Couldn't agree more. That's exactly what they've got to do. I hope they really hope they do. I think they will. Something else I've been watching is, um, I think it's been I think it's three or four, if not older, more years old on Netflix, is uh, Wet Hot American Summer. 
first day of camp. I've never heard of that. Tell me, tell me more. So, Wet Hot American Summer was a movie from the nineties, I think, right. uh, about a load of tu- tutors, camp people, camp counselors. I'm losing, <laughs> I'm losing the ability to speak. <laughs> um, and this is a spin-off of that, but oh, it's, right, uh, okay. it's got loads of very famous people in it, like, like Paul Paul Rudd, Bradley Cooper. Really? Um, yep. This is the blonde one. Amy Poehler. Oh, wow. All well, that pe- lot. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, fine. Have, seems to have forgotten how to talk. I've, I've changed my settings and I can hear myself, but I'm on a lag. Ah. That's so it's a bit slightly. weird. <laughs> yeah. Do you need to change it or are you okay? Uh, I'll stick with it. You sure? Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, any other news or things you've been watching? I think they're the main things. I yeah. I can't, I'm sure I have watched more, but I can't think of uh, anything. I have mainly just been watching Lost. I, it's tough because I'm still working and taking care of children. So pretty much just collapsing after yeah. I've gone to bed. You're the exact opposite to me. I'm literally <laughs> doing nothing. I'm not working. I am not looking after anybody other than myself. I spent £120 in Morrison's the other day because I didn't want to ever go back. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, but you... you You'll be happy about that in the two weeks. Yeah, completely. I, I, I never want to go in a supermarket again. It was horrible. Exactly. Uh, that must be it then. We probably best, best get on with talking about the film, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, this week we watched a film called Ark, A-R-Q. It is from 2016. It's a 15 and runs at an hour and 28 minutes. Currently rated at 6.4 on IMDb. This was Ross's wildcard pick for season two. And stars Robbie Elmel, who we have met before. More than once. I think he's the second person to appear three times on the show now. I believe that's the case. Which must be a show in for next year's uh, Captain's Gallery. He's uh, definitely a front runner. <laughs> he plays a character called Renton. Uh, we've met him before in When We First Met and in The Babysitter. Also stars Rachel Taylor, who plays a character called Hannah. Uh, she has appeared in mainly, she's most famous probably for Transformers she was in. She was in the Marvel Jessica Jones series. Yeah. And she was also in See No Evil with Kane. I've never seen that. I haven't either. Uh, written and directed by a guy called Tony Elliott. And this is his first feature film. But he has writing credits on Orphan Black and Twelve Monkeys, the TV shows. I did watch Twelve Monkeys. I've never seen Orphan Black. I've seen the first season of both of them, but never gone back to either of them. Uh, okay. I did enjoy Orphan Black. I don't know why I never watched that any further. That might be something I can binge on. I, I don't know anything about it. What's the premise? It, she's a clone. Did she? There's like cloned versions of this girl running around. And she has to live with it, deal with it. Okay, just deal with it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I watched it. Just deal with the fact that there's clones of you running around. Do you have a one-word review of Ark? Repetitious? <laughs> Repetitious. Yeah, okay, uh, that makes sense. Oh, oh it's going to be that or industrial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair comment. Everything's grey and grimy. True. Dirty. <laughs> I'd agree with that. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't think we're giving anything away to say that this is a time loop film. Uh, there's quite a few of them about, isn't there? But yeah. It's a good subject matter for cheap thinking films, I guess. So yeah. can I let you into a secret? Yeah. I chose The Anomaly last season as yes, my you wild card. And I can't remember if you recall, but I said at the time, I've got two films in mind. Do you want number right. one or number two? Oh, all right. And we chose the anomaly. We did. This Are you blaming me one. for that now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this was the other one. Wow. I'm not sure what to make of that. We'll we'll talk about that more as we go through, <laughs> I think. But so this this was always going to be a wild card film because it could have been yours and is now Ross's season three wild card. Yeah. I I've got I'm getting the distinct impression that Ross Cook does not like us. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about it a bit more, shall we? So what happens at the beginning of this film? Uh, there's a man and a woman in bed. Yes. They're um, asleep, but not very long. No, because the alarm goes... Well, does the alarm clock go off? Something goes off and it wakes him up. 
Man Awakens. Man Awakens. This is Renton, played by Robbie Amell. Um, and just as he wakes up, a load of masked gunmen burst into his room. And I can't remember, does he get shots pretty much straight away in the first one? He gets dragged out of the room and does he smack his head or something? Something like that. He dies very quickly. Very quickly. And then suddenly he wakes up and it all starts again. Yeah. And this time they both wake up and they both get tied to a chair down in the garage. Where they're, they're sitting in this garage and there's this like generator next to them. Yeah, he puts a le- less of a fight this time. Yeah. He's very confused because he can uh, still remember the last time. And this generator turns out to be a machine that he's built himself and it's called the, he calls it the Ark. So they both get tied to a chair in this garage area. And he manages to escape. He manages to cut himself free of his cable ties. And he decides that they, must be, they can't be after him. They must be after the Ark. They say that they're after scripts. Scripts, yeah. Does, no, the film never explains what that is. I think it's basically <laughs> money. Yeah, I think you're right. There's a, lot of, um, there's a lot in this film of people talking and expecting you to know what they're talking about. Uh, but no explanation of what it is that they're talking about. No, they're just using future colloquialism <laughs> yeah. and things like that. It doesn't they? mean anything to us. Um, he describes the arc as a hyper-efficient energy turbine. It basically charges itself. Yeah, it's self-charging. Continually generates power. Yeah. So it's, there's some sort of war going on, we find out eventually, between two sides. Yep. And he's trying to keep it away from both of them. And power is not, uh, there's not a lot of it around, basically. No. There's something poisonous outside as well. They don't, they aren't able to go outside. But we're, this is something that you have to kind of make up in your own head because it never really explains what's happened, does it? No. <laughs> So in this one, Renton manages to kill one of the guys and then gets stabbed himself. Yeah, so quite they, quickly. Sneak out, they sneak out into the kitchen area. He takes down one of them. He's got this, like, how would you describe it? A power glove. Yeah, electro knuckle dusters over it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like a taser on a glove, isn't it? Yeah. As he beats people, he electrocutes them at the same time. So, as you say, yeah, he takes one out, but then he gets a big stab gets a big stabbed and dies and then suddenly he wakes up again yeah so we're into like the third go around already yeah. yes and he wakes her he wakes up the lady who's with him who is anna and he tells her that the day is repeating itself but she thinks he's lost his mind because she's yeah, not she can't remember she's not remembering he comes very quickly comes to the conclusion that the arc must be causing a time loop even though i don't know how he came to that conclusion that quick but he did but for some reason only he's remembering it's a real yeah, it's stretch a bit of a- it's a bit of a leap in logic. <laughs> it really but is. But it's just... We'll go with it. Yeah, we have, you kind of have to. So this time he decides that he needs to gas them. And he's got this cyanide capsule, hasn't he? And he tells her that what well, he's going to run out into the hallway and turn on the air conditioning. Yeah. And she, all she's got to do is put the canister in the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> and it will kill them. And then they'll be free and everything will be fine. Yeah, she's got to work the shaft and the <laughs> cyanide seed will Exactly, because they're wearing, they've got like gas masks on, so they'll be fine from it. So as they're sneaking out through the room, we get an, a news break in the background on the TV. And that's yeah. where a lot of the info comes through about the energy war between this big company called Taurus and then some rebels who are trying to stop it, basically. Yeah, and then you just hear that in the background. There's never any. Yeah. There's no explanation uh, explanation of what's going on. It's just what you can hear in the background, picking up things. It still boggles my mind the amount that we see this used as a technique. Yeah. Just it's... just through a newscast in the background. Yeah. Or the foreground. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> it happens almost every week. No matter what genre we watch, no matter what kind of film we watch, the amount of times we get given information by news stories is crazy. I, yeah, I didn't realise it was such a trope, genuinely. No, I didn't, until we're now, what, 52 films in? and At least half of them, it must have been. I bet we've seen it 20 times. Yeah, yeah I bet we have, easily. Anyway, she's next time we see her, she's been captured and she's tied back to the chair because she couldn't do it. She bottled it, basically. And this is where they tell him they just want his scripts. Yeah. So he go, he lets them in kind of opens the safe that he's got and he lets them in 
Uh, and th- this is when it turns out that she's in on it as well. Yeah, because he's handed over the scripts, which are quite a lot of monies, I think. Because <laughs> they talk about how, how they've got enough to keep them going for years and years. Yeah. And as he turns around, a couple of these guys pull a gun on him. Yeah. And Hannah steps in yeah. and says, don't kill him. Yeah. Uh, because she is mother. Yes, so, so I don't think we've explained who the guys are. So the, there's four rebels. Yeah. One of them gets killed pretty much before we even meet them. He's cousin. Yeah, so he gets killed because he's stupid <laughs> and he touches the Ark. Yeah, which electrocutes him and kills him pretty much straight away. So that's before they've even stormed the bedroom. Yeah. Then you've got father and brother, who also have other names, but I haven't written them down. And then Sonny is like the yep. ringleader. And then... Turns out she's mother. So yeah. why, why they've not just got normal names, why they have to be a family unit, I don't know. Code name. <laughs> okay, code names. Um, so yeah, she, like you said, she stops him getting shot and she leaves the room to go and do something else. And then he gets shot anyway. Yeah. And so we're restarting all over again. So these are basically rebels uh, and they're in a group which they they call themselves the Block. Yeah. And they're fighting against this big company called Taurus. Yeah. It's all very Terminator 2. <laughs> it really is. That's a great show. Only not as good. Uh, well, and it just follows a, a small bit bit part player. Yeah. So they wake with, up and... Go on, sorry. No, I was just going to say, with the, the setting behind all of this that's going on, is there's, there's this big war of machines and post-apocalyptic. I really can't speak. This is really putting me off. Say it again. Post-apocalyptic. Yep. Ness. Yeah, good word. I think I made it up. <laughs> I like it. Um, so it starts all over again. They wake up. This time they get tied up again in the garage. Same as... Because it doesn't show you everything every time. It basically jumps to the next point. Yeah, you um, don't see it all from the start every time. No, yep. which is good. Uh, but this time he doesn't untie her. He leaves her tied up because obviously now he knows that she's in on it, even sure. though she doesn't know that he knows. Sure. Yet. And I've written here, they're talking as if we should know what's going on, but we don't. This, and then he tells her now that he knows everything and he calls her mother, and which throws her completely because like, she's like, how do you know? Because at this point as well, we don't know the relationship between these two people. We know that they've woken up in bed together, but we don't really know how they know each other. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And all the way through this bit, Renton is basically questioning Hannah yeah. to try and find out where she's been for the past period of time. It starts to come out that there's been a while since they've seen each other. Yeah. And he's trying to find out a bit more, having already known she's in this terrorist group, what led up to that. Yeah. He's trying to fill in the blanks. Yeah, because they've been, it seemed like they were captured together at one point and he managed to get away. And leave her, I think. Yeah. Am I remembering that right? Anyway, he tells her that he knows everything and he, he realises that he needs to gas them all again. But this time he manages to get them all tied up. Because the next time we see them, they're all tied up except for him. And Is she still tied up at that point? I can't remember. It's so unnecessarily complicated, this film. Right. So, yeah. So where we are is this time when they go to fetch the cyanide and gas mask, he gets her to reach up for it and... He, Renton stuns Anna with yeah, the power glove. Yeah. So he ends up tying them all up and she sort of comes out with this fact that she was tortured for a year by this company with lights in her eyes all the time. They played Christmas songs over and over. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and he's been trying to find her for a year. Yeah. So he kind of talks around and she agrees to help him out. Yeah, she kind of double crosses the double crosses, doesn't she? Exactly. So they go upstairs together and she stuns one of them and they tie them all up. They get the jump on them, basically. Yeah. Uh, and they they tie the intruders up back in the basement. Yeah. And Renton just gives them all a bit of shit. Yeah, that's where he, he kicks a guy. He punches one guy for punching him earlier and he kicks another yep. guy. And he decides he needs to pack. they need to pack up the ark and leave for go. Yeah. But she says, no, you can't do that. She won't go with him. She, yeah, she's like, no way am I going anywhere. And she shoots, but she shoots at the Ark, which just... Yeah, they get of, into a scuffle. Yeah. 
and the gun goes off. Yeah, he manages to grab the gun from her, but just as he does, she shoots him in the neck. Yeah. And they wake up again. But this time it's different because this time she remembers as well. Yeah, they wake up at the same time this time. Yeah. Because every, every loop before, he'd woken up first. This time they wake up at the same time and she speaks first. And she says, I shot you. Yeah. You're still on board? You're still keeping up? Sure. And then you cut back down to the basement. So they've been invaded. They've been tied up. And it's you don't even hear the dialogue. It's just a tight focus on her face. Yeah. As she's trying to process what's going on. I really like that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that was a decent scene. Is that the point where she says this that it was all her idea? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. She convinced she confesses that she gave the block Renton's name. Right. And because she knew he had money. Got you. And also the ark, which they may or may not want. <laughs> oh, this is when they decide as well that they can't turn off the ark even if they wanted to because if they die again they'll die for good if the ark's not turned on. Yeah, so because the ark is keeping the loops going yeah they've got to keep it on yeah i like that i thought that was a decent idea because the whole thing was to get the arc to safety but then they realized that they can't turn it off because if they did they wouldn't be able to time loop anymore yeah um so they tie themselves back up don't they yeah um renton works out that the loop starts at six eleven a.m yeah because that's when cuz was electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because he, he he thinks that him electrocuting himself was what started the time loops off. Because he like logs into the desktop, doesn't he? And yeah. he looks at a load of data. Yeah. And he sees that the loops last for three and a quarter hours. Three hours, 14 minutes and 15 seconds. There you go. Three, because that's the digits for pi. 3.1415. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't spy it. That was on uh, IMDb. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not taking credit for it. They managed to get the scripts again this time. He gets them out of the safe again for them. Uh, but then one of the guys shoots her and one of the other guys. Well, she, she says that she in the last loop, she was shot after she shot Renton. Yeah. Which has caused her to remember. It's really confusing. <laughs> Unnecessarily. So she didn't start remembering until she got shot as well. Exactly. Got you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Sonny now, isn't it? Who kills, kills her. Yeah. They and, tie themselves back up. Yeah. And, but they, their plan gets seen through quite quickly. Yeah, because he notices that his legs are not tied up. Renton's legs yeah. are not tied up. So he knows that they've been working together now. So he basically kills everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he, he just leaves Renton and Sonny keeps asking. What's the login? Yeah, how do, how do we, we get dis- in? How do we disable this? I want to disable this machine. And it turns out he's double-crossed the rest of the group because he actually works for Taurus and he's called them in, basically. Yeah. He says, I've done it, I've got the machine. And so he's just a mercenary. Yeah. He's not in the block at all. It's really weird. This, you, you can't, we were explaining this much better than the film does. Yeah, it's just a lot of... Crosses and double crosses, and yeah, no one's who you think they are. But we've got we get you get no backstory of why this is happening or who these guys are. Who should no. who are Taurus the good guys and block the bad guys? You just don't know. You have to make all that up in your own head. Um, so we're dead. We're they're both dead again. So they both wake up again. And this is how for the rest of this movie they do their recaps for yeah. want of a better word, because the first thing Renton says when they wake up is, "Oh, Sonny." He's a merc for Taurus. Yeah. We need He's to, not in your group. Yeah, we need to kill him. And that just clarifies it for the audience as well. So that's kind of how they get through a bit of exposition. Yeah. So this this one, this loop's a little bit different now, isn't it? Because Sonny kills one of the other guys straight away. Yeah. Also, you see, it's the first time you see them storm in the room from Hannah's point of view. So after they drag Renton away she stays in the room yeah. and talks to father yeah. and says, I need five minutes with him on my own. Yeah. Which we've been seeing them give them all the way through the movie. Yeah. And does she tell him about the time loops? I think she does tell him about the time loop at that point, doesn't she? But then he gets shot. So father gets shot by Sonny now, I think. So 
before that, then <laughs> when Rachel, uh, I wrote really bad notes on this because yeah, I couldn't yeah. keep track of what was going on. I had to stop it so many times. Yeah. So before that, when they're back in the basement, tied up together, Renton and H- Hannah have the conversation, and Renton says, "We've got to tell Father about Sunny." Right. So Renton ties Hannah back up, and he escapes into the house. Got you. And he leaves Hannah in the room. Father comes back down and she says to him, we need to kill Sonny. So that's the point they tell him. Right, okay, that makes and sense. And she, te- she tells him about the loops as well. But then does he get shot quite quickly after that? So Renton's upstairs and the, and the other two, brother and Sonny, are looking for him. Sonny knocks brother on the head. But then he comes downstairs and tells them it was Renton. Right. Sonny kills father. <laughs> Yeah. So complicated. It is unnecessarily complicated. And they think they've done it, basically. They think they're home free, Renton and Hannah. Yeah, because he takes out, he uses his electro knuckle dusters again, doesn't he? And takes out yeah. Sonny with them. Yeah. They've killed Sonny. So they've killed the bad guy. So they think they can do what they want now. He's not shopped them to Taurus. Yeah. But then the brother comes back through the door and kills Renton. Shoots him in the back. Yep. So we have to start all over again. Because he wasn't in on the whole thing. Yeah, so we start again. They wake up again, same as last time. Only this one's different again because Sonny's now aware of the time loops. So yep. people are... Cause, presumably because he got killed in that one. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Don't know. Um, so when we start this time, pretty much every all of them are dead. Except I think Cousin's still alive this time, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, because so S- now Sonny's Sonny, aware. Sonny kills brother and father straight away. So they never storm the bedroom. Yeah. And cousin, cousin never touches the Ark, so he stays alive this time. Yeah, because Cuz is a merc as well. Yeah, and this is where they decide that they need to stop Taurus getting the Ark, which is what they've been trying to do anyway. But then Renton says that he doesn't want the block to have it either, and he gives um, Hannah the code to destroy it, doesn't he? He does. And he says, if Sonny gets to him before I get to the machine, you must destroy the machine, and he tells her the code word to do that. And then, so he's kind of stalking back around the house, isn't he, Renton, looking for Sonny? And he notices that his bedside clock's going really, really fast. Yeah, like super so like fast. The time's ticking really fast. Because the arc is speeding up, we've noticed in the last couple. Yeah, and the loop is getting faster. Yeah. So he manages, to, he finds a body in the cupboard, which he believes is Sonny, until he takes the mask off and realises that it isn't Sonny. It's Cousin. Yeah. And so, so therefore Anna's stuck in the garage with Sonny, who she thinks is Cousin. And he does a <laughs> jigsaw. Yeah, he does. He's like from, lying. Doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. He's been he pretended to be a dead body all this time. And he just stands. He rears up, up behind it, yeah. Just out of focus. <laughs> he, he he kind of holds them at gunpoint then, doesn't he? He's got them both. He has. And uh, Renton still won't give him the login to no. disable the machine. So instead of that, he decides he's going to kill himself so we can start yeah. again. So he grabs... Sonny's hand and touches the arc and they both get electrocuted to death. Yeah. And they wake up again and we start starting this whole thing all over again. <laughs> but this time everybody's alive until Sonny shoots them all again. And Sonny kind of locks himself in the garage, doesn't he? So <laughs> Renton and Hannah just get there quick enough yeah. to see Sonny and Cuz shoot father and brother. <laughs> but then they manage to lock them in the basement. Yeah. And they go for the cyanide trick again, but this time it works. Yeah. But Sonny has time before he dies to set a trap. Yes. So Sonny, does he shoot Cousin? He kills Cousin in some way. He um, box cutters him in the throat. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, sorry, he does. He slices his throat. Uh, but then they hear a gunshot from inside the garage and turns out Sonny shot himself. Yeah. Rather than die of cyanide. Yeah. But... <laughs> this made me laugh because they, as soon as they find his body, they take their gas masks off and they're like, "Oh, it's safe to breathe now." Yeah, that so, was really flippant, wasn't <laughs> it? It really was. If it had just survived another couple of minutes, he would have been all right anyway. And th- this is the point where they find a video on the computer of themselves, which they don't remember filming because are they on like loop six or seven now, as yeah. far as they're concerned? Uh, eight, eight is it? And oh, this is the point where Hannah finds the code word. She goes to investigate Father's body. And she finds the code word written on a note in his mouth. Yeah. And But she doesn't want to step in the blood because she knows the blood will be electrocuted, electrified. Because it, his cousin, one father's touching the ark. I think his body is. 
I don't know if she has noticed that. Well, she stood on that tarp. She stood on a tarp. Was that? Yeah, just... but I just, I just thought that was because she didn't want to stand in the blood. <laughs> Might be. And the tra- the trap that Sunny had set is, yeah, basically electrified, electrified the, floor the blood because it was covered in blood. Yeah, but she accidentally steps off this tarp and gets electrocuted and dies. Yeah, and falls into the blood, which then Renton grabs her. And pulls her out of the blood, but doesn't get electrocuted. Yeah, I didn't get that. No, stupid. That that scene was stupid because two things didn't make sense. So he just sits there until the loop ends. Yeah, basically. Yeah, he, does he start? Does he start the shutdown process at that point? But the loop ended before it ended. I think. No, I don't think so. Because he's. I think he's just holding her, and he just waits for the time to run out so they can have another okay, go. Fair enough. So anyway, they wake up on the bed. I'm getting really bored of talking about this. <laughs> Um, it's making it, this is making me like the film less. Really? Yeah. I couldn't like this film less, but we'll talk about that more at the end. This time, as soon as brother and father break up, uh, break into the bedroom, they tell them straight away what's going on. So they both, they tell him, look, Sonny's a merc. Don't trust him. Uh, this is a time loop. It's been happening over and over again. And they suddenly both remember, or they say this is a bit like deja vu, doesn't he? Yeah. So they kind of team up, the four of them, but Sonny instantly catches all four of them. Yeah, they're a rubbish team. <laughs> really, really rubbish. They, they basically just make it out of the door, and then they get ambushed. Yeah, this is where Renton gives up, he does eventually give up the logging during this loop, doesn't he? Tells the, tells father what the, Sonny what the logging is. And he goes to disable the arc. Well, he does disable the arc, he turns it off. And he does. to prove that he's turned it off, he makes Hannah touch it. Which she does and doesn't get electrocuted, so we know it's been dis- the, the thing's still spinning, but it's not no longer producing electricity. I think. Correct. Um, but because he says the arc has to be shut down manually, so Renton gets up and shuts it down, and all the lights go off. Yeah, I don't know if he shuts it down. He just switches the power off. Yeah, because it needed to stop. I presume he stopped the generator. So For the, the whole house, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because he'd stopped this generator, which was powering his house, the, all the lights went off. Then there's loads of so- go on. No, I was just going to say, as the lights go out, there's a load of random gunshots. Yeah. And the t- expendable people die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think father and brother die again. Again, yeah. This time, though, they manage to escape, don't they? They get outside. Yeah, Hannah and Renton make it outside. Which we've been told all the way through is poisonous and they're not allowed to go outside. But they've got one face mask between the two of them. And they, they are breathing, but they are coughing a little bit. So it's obviously not safe out there. And they, they find this, like black boundary line don't they yeah like the grounds has just been charred yeah petrified i think is the word he uses oh does he yeah there you go and they instantly again come to the conclusion that only time inside the circle is being affected by this we then get a helpful aerial shot don't we yeah. so the camera pulls back and you see this black line around the house yeah it's basically just around the house and garden and then it pulls back further and you see a whole city yeah. which has just been Looks like it's been bombed. Yeah, it's been decimated, hasn't it? It's the or, the orange, the the orange is sky. The sky's orange, and the, the world is not in a good position. And she, he says to her, "There's a safe house a couple of blocks from here. You need to go there. I've got to go back because I can't let him take the ark." But she's like, "No chance. I'm not having that. I'm coming with you." Yeah, we're in this together. Yeah. Turns out cousin is still alive. Somehow he manages to survive this gunfight in the dark, but not for long because Anna sets him on fire. Well, yes. Because as they go back into the house, they can hear someone singing a Christmas song. Yes, that's right. And obviously she puts two and two together and works out that Cuz was the person who (laughs) was was torturing torturing her her all the time. Right. That she'd been kidnapped. Got you. I didn't pick up on that. Which I thought was a nice little touch. Yeah, good little touch. I didn't pick up on that. I think I'd got bored by this point. So yeah, she sets him on fire. Yeah. Um, Just after that, the lights all come back on. Don't they? And it turns out that Sonny's turned the arc back on. Yeah. And Renton manages to grab him. It's not It's not electrified anymore. It's just spinning again. It's not producing electricity by the looks of it because Renton pushes his face onto the spinning cylinder and basically grinds his face off. He gives him a good old sanding. He does. It's horrible. Because it's like, you, first thing you see is this like red line going around the arc now. And then he kind of, his face just melts away. It's horrible. In the In the melee... Yeah. Um, Hannah's shot a gun. Yeah. And she's hit... This, you only have these in sci-fi films. So it's like a whiteboard with an equation on it 
Yeah. But it's a perspex see-through one. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how you know it's futuristic. Yeah, because they're right on the table, don't they? But it comes yeah. up on the board. And she instantly notices the shape that this bullet hole's made is the same shape that was on the board on the video that they'd seen that they yeah. didn't remember recording. Yeah. It was just a really <laughs> weird detail to point out. It was because the t- it proves that the time loops have been happening more often and that they're not all going in concurrent order either. Yeah. If they're filming this video after they've seen the video. The- Renton agrees at this point to let the art go to the block because he knows that somebody's going to get it now. So he might as well give it to the quote unquote good guys. So Sunny has already called in Taurus. Taurus. And they can hear something approaching the approaching house. Approaching them, yeah. And he he then finds, he's looking through the computer, isn't he? And he finds like another folder because the time loops have all been logged in this one folder. Yeah. And then he finds another one and it turns out that there's been a lot more than they think there has been. And he says, we could have lived this thousands, maybe more times. At this point, there's no way of knowing. Yeah, he says this loop is the end of the sequence, but there's hundreds and hundreds of sequences. Yeah, because there's something to do with turning it off made an incomplete loop and he said there's been possibly thousands of incomplete loops as well as the ones that we thought we were in and then there's another massive leap of logic because he <laughs> just goes oh when the uh, machine reboots it must reset our memories as well yeah that's why we can't remember <laughs> the video yeah and then so at this point they realize that Taurus are now in the house they can hear something in the house and Renton now relents he's like we've got to destroy this thing we just have no choice now it's got to be destroyed and he starts the process of destroying it yeah types in the code word but then he stops it and he's like we can't do that because we need to keep trying we keep living these loops until we succeed yeah yeah and she just says but we've already tried thousands of times (laughs) and he said well we've got to keep trying and that's when he makes the video and he's like just basically the video just says keep going keep doing what you're doing and eventually you'll get it right it's it says taurus has found you the arc needs to go to the block trust hannah yeah but that's what we hear him record but we never saw that yeah when they played it back earlier no and then a, a badass robot comes in and shoots <laughs> i was just him. gonna say that literally i was gonna use the exact words this badass robot bursts in and kills them both and then Anna wakes up in the bed, but Renton doesn't. She wakes up first. Yeah. yeah. What's the, that supposed to mean? And then the film ends. Do you care by this point? Not even a little bit. It just, it just did nothing to keep me interested all the way through. I quite enjoyed it. I hated it. I really hated it. I was, it just didn't explain enough. There was no explanation, explanation of what was going on or why I should be interested in this. And I just I just didn't care. Just did not care. For, I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the way they were portrayed. I I didn't understand what the arc was. I don't think anybody did. And it just didn't do enough to keep me interested. It didn't matter what it was. It was just a MacGuffin. (laughs) Completely. Yeah, it was. But why should I I care about it for an hour and a half then? Well, because it it was just a thing that made time travel happen. (laughs) You can't just (laughs) say that. That's literally it. Yeah, they said that in the film. Because there's one point where... one I can't even remember which character says it. Someone says... Oh, it's an en- a perpetual energy generator. Oh, it's also a time machine. <laughs> oh, f- fair enough. That's fine. We'll just accept that, shall we? Yeah. No, I, mean, I, could, I couldn't. I couldn't. There wasn't enough. I didn't care enough about the characters. I didn't know enough of the backstory of the what was going on to care enough about what was going on. It needed more explanation. It felt to me, it felt like it was a sequel to a film I hadn't seen. <laughs> I think they're all valid criticism. <laughs> But I still quite enjoyed it. <laughs> it wasn't just, for me. I just went along for the ride. It's it's stupid. It's not that clever. I played along for the first three or four, sort of, oh, you know, he's learnt a bit. What, what's going to be different this time? And then it just went off in so many weird directions <laughs> and double and triple crosses that I gave up and just went with it. And yeah, it is completely enough. preposterous. But completely there's much better time loop films out there i kind of enjoyed it wow we're different ends of the scale on this one this is down there with the anomaly for me 
Oh, no way. Yeah, no it's, way. it's no right way down there. there. It's no right, there. right down there for me. Didn't didn't get it, didn't like it. I think Russ has completely wasted his wild card for this season. I, early. I, I, early I, waste as well. He's going to regret I'm, it. I'm gobsmacked that you disliked it that much. I really did. <laughs> I don't know if I, maybe I wasn't in the right mood. It wasn't what I was expecting. I, from the poster, I was expecting it to be a bit spacey. At what point did it go off the rails for you? Um, I don't even really know. I just, I think when it tried to get to a point where I was supposed to know what was going on and then I didn't know what was going on. And there, there was one whole scene where she, he's explaining to her or they're trying to explain to each other their history and it just doesn't make any sense. You've got no frame of reference to what they're talking about. You know what I mean? I just didn't, what's Taurus? What's the block? I don't understand what these words mean. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, What's happened outside? No, you don't get any explanation of what's happened to make the world the way it is. And why has this war happened in the first place? You needed a crawl at the start, didn't you? It was a sequel to a film I hadn't seen. (laughs) That's exactly what I think it was. That's exactly how I'm describing it. But even if you'd have had the world in whatever year is torn apart by a war, people are (laughs) looking for energy sources or whatever. Here's There's two people stuck. No, but even if you'd have had that, and then you'd be like, here's two people stuck in a garage for an hour and a half. It's like, but at least you, you would have you had some context. Yeah, maybe. You, you can't build up this like whole world's at war. There's this science, science war going on within, between these two warring factions. Here's an hour and a half of two people in a garage fighting over a potential time machine. It's just, I just didn't get it. I just didn't enjoy it at all. I didn't get it. I'm, re- I'm really surprised. I, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was fine. I'm not saying it's a world beat or anything, but for an hour and 25 minutes, I thought it was pretty snappy. Uh, like I say, utterly ridiculous by the time the fourth double cross happens. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really make much sense. No. Maybe, maybe it was a mood thing. but I Maybe. Was, maybe it is. Maybe I'm not in the right headspace. I was fine it. with it. By the end, everybody knows what's going on. Everybody's aware of the time loops, but they all still end up trusting each other enough to shoot each other yeah. and things. It was just a bit too over the top silly for me. I, I didn't like the character of Hannah because she turned about face so many it, times. She did. She flip-flopped like crazy. You didn't know where and, she was at any one point. And he went from between scenes, literally like, I can never trust you again. Oh, you're the love of my life. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> it was... A time travel soap, almost. <laughs> yeah, that's a great show. I think it's the worst film we've seen Robbie O'Mell in out of the three. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I didn't mind him too much. He, you know, he 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 was a good supporting actor slash character where we've seen him before, and I didn't think he did a bad job. No, with this. no, fair. That's fair. I think it's probably the best thing about it. He's not the issue. <laughs> no, he's not the issue. The writing is the issue. It just it assumed too much. It assumed that you knew what it was talking about, and nobody did. But I am. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought it was fine. For, wow. to, to we haven't had a, a big disagreement for a long time. I didn't think there was enough there to offend me personally. And that's, I think that's why I was offended by it because there wasn't enough there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a quiz question, trivia question? Yeah. Okay, go on then. Um. Really easy. Oh, God. What does ARC stand for? Oh, no. Have I written that down anywhere? Uh... Even if you have, I might not help you. I genuinely don't know. It's some words. I don't know if they make sense. Automated. Uh, No idea. I can't even guess. It's arcing recursive quine. (laughs) Quine? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Is that mentioned in the film? Or have you found that somewhere? No, he says it. He does say Ren, it. Okay. Ren says it. Wow. I think it's the first time they're down in the basement when he's explaining what this thing is. What is it? Arcing recursive quine. Quine. Quine's a great word. Oh, well, still nil for this season for me then. Um, my question to you is, Sonny asks quite often in this film what the login is. To get into the ARCS system, do you know the login? It's September 19. It is. Well done. I thought that would be a bit easy. Well done. You've got one right. 
Yes. One out of two. I'm impressed. 50% success rate <laughs> might be as good as it gets. He's taken the lead early as in the season. I don't oh. like it. I need to pay more attention in the next one. I need to get that back. Well, last year, you taking the lead. I took the lead early was, last year, I was, did. was not good news for you. So <laughs> That's we'll true. See what happens. That is true. Stream table. That should be easy enough. Is yeah, this... this is the best film we've seen this season. <laughs> oh, maybe we are going to have an argument then. You don't genuinely believe this is better than Take Me. I had more fun watching this. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> Take Me is much better than this. Like, Ake is better. I sat watching this on my own yesterday, yesterday evening. I thought it was fine. I quite enjoyed myself. But Take Me's better. No, I enjoyed this more. Oh, God. How can we have an argument over something when there's only two films in there? (laughs) (laughs) I I don't think I can allow this above Take Me on the stream table. I'm sorry. (laughs) I don't know if it's a better film. It's not a better film. But I had more fun. (laughs) No, I'm not having it. (laughs) I don't know what you want me to say. (laughs) I want you to agree with me. (laughs) You seriously, seriously, you would put this above Take Me on the stream table. Um, if this was my list, I would be putting this higher than last week's movie. I'm ap- I'm sitting here like mouth agog. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked. I knew you'd enjoy it more than me. I, I knew that, but I didn't think you'd you'd enjoy it more than last week's film. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at how bad bad taste you've got in films. <laughs> <laughs> I just think there was more to talk about with this. This was more provoking take me was fine but it was vanilla it was it was fine wow i enjoyed i enjoyed this more one of us is gonna have to back down on this don't make it be me (laughs) it's not a better film but honestly for me it's a wafer thin between them okay well there isn't anything between them at the minute so does that mean you can allow it to go below it just (laughs) well i'm not happy it's fine. I'll I'll owe you one later in the season. I can't, I'm, It'd be I'm interesting much you that you hated it this much. I hated it almost as much as I hated the anomaly. That's the only film that we've done that you can compare it to. I guess they're very very similar films. For the record, I completely disagree. This is nowhere near as bad as some <laughs> of the stuff we've seen. No, but I mean, in terms in, of in the depths of in terms of what the film's about and the tone and the genre. Yeah, yeah, you can only yeah, really can compare it to the anomaly. That's what I meant. Yeah, we've we've definitely seen much worse films. Yeah, but, but you, only like you... three or four. No, no. <laughs> I, I'd say this. We've seen ten to fifteen worse films than this. That's where I am. Genuinely, I'm not winding you up. <laughs> not on purpose. I, at the most six, I would say, off the top of my head, out of fifty-two films, there's probably six worse than this. I've massively agreed to this. <laughs> Well, it's sort of been a long time since we've we've disagreed so much on a film. Probably Wish Upon was the last time. Last season was quite easy. This had a lot of ideas. A lot of them were awful. <laughs> but A lot of them never went uh, anywhere. A lot of them were never explained. I kind of like a tryer. And this was... It was very trying. This was cool. Nah. Nah. <laughs> no, it really wasn't. Oh, well, we can't agree every week. That's the whole well, point of what we started. Well, we in, in I, we case, agree a lot more than I was expecting us ever to. In that case, I would like to know what people think. Yeah, if definitely. you've seen this, go watch it. Let us know what you think. Definitely. Am I being too nice? Is that being too harsh? Probably. <laughs> Is there truth somewhere in the middle? Am I not in the right headspace for watching bad films at the minute? Because that's an issue if I'm not. Because that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> all I do is watch bad films. So it'd be, it'd be an issue if I'm not in the right headspace for them. Anyway, yeah. shall we leave that there? And shall we pick next week's film? Sure. Okay, do you want me to open up my randomizer? Let's do it. You ready for me to press the button? Yes, please. It's picked a film called Bad Day for the Cut. I have no idea what that is. Got any idea what that is? Oh. Let me just look it up. Is it something to do with lawn mowing? <laughs> or hair cutting. Oh, maybe. It says, The Bad Day for the Cut is a mild-mannered, middle-aged Irish farmer devoted to his mother embarks on a violent quest for revenge when she's murdered in a home invasion. Interesting. It's an 18. 
We haven't done many 18s. Oh, bit of violence. Yeah. It's got Layla Roddy in it. Remember him? Was he in The Cured? No, he was in Michael Inside. Oh, that, right. He was yeah. the, I knew he was the was grandfather. Sort of Irish film we'd seen. <laughs> He was, in, he was the grandfather in Michael Inside. Came early last season. He's come early in both seasons. So yeah, go out and have a look at Bad Day for the Cut. And we'll come back next week and we'll talk about it to you. Sure will. Cheers. Bye.